Welcome to Bloody Flicks, I'm your host Pete. I'm Kyle, and we talk about all things bloody. And today we're going to review the movie Night of the Living Dead from 1990, directed by Tom Savini, which is a remake of the original Night of the Living Dead. So, 1990 version is my favorite, and your favorite, of course, is... Dawn of the Dead. The original. The original. And uh, we fight about this a lot. Um, yours is because you grew up watching it with your brothers and stuff like that, and that became your favorite. This remake I've liked because, uh, I don't know, I think I've watched more. And the chemistry, I said this before, between Tony Todd and the Italian guy fighting, I just like that situation. You know, one asshole versus one guy that's trying to do right. And the girl in the middle who's just like, can't we all get along and just kill some zombies? <laughs> so what did you think about the movie? Okay, so recently I got to see this on the big screen when I went to Living Dead Weekend, so it's fresh in my mind. Um, what I like about it is the Barbara in this movie version is a, more of a badass than the Barbara in the original. Badass. As you know, in the original, Barbara's one of them quiet, just kind of letting everybody die around her. And in this one, she's a badass and she, you know, becomes a zombie killer and uh, she fights up, you know, stands up for herself. So that's one of my likes. Um, also, the zombies are a lot creepier in this movie than the original. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, the original for what it is in 1968, you know, they had to do the best they could with what they had. You know, budgets and technology and everything else. So yeah, the zombies in this one are a lot creepier. I like the music in this one. Um, the effects are really great. And that's about most of my likes. And you've been to the cemetery? Yes, I've been to the, well, the cemetery for the original Night of the Living Dead. Even though the cemetery in the 1990 version is in Pennsylvania too, maybe next year we'll go see that one. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, Barbara's badass. Thank you for giving her autograph for me. So, since you went to Living Dead Weekend, you got me Barbara's autograph to add to my Tony Todd autograph, which is awesome. So I have two autographs of one, which is awesome there, since I didn't get a chance to go. Um, I've always liked um, just the whole, I don't know, just the chemistry between old people. Um, yeah, Barbara's badass, but I really, Tony Todd, I really like it for Candy Man. I've loved him for this movie. Kind of like uh, Peter, you know? Mm -hmm. And... You know, his character, Tony Todd, this character is my favorite. Um, and then just the chemistry between them all, trying to work together, trying to save their daughter in the basement, because um, they don't know what's going on. You know, just from the start, get go. No one knows what the hell's happening. They end up in the farmhouse, which everybody knows about, trying to use things to work the windows of school. Um, I do like that aspect. Um, the zombies are slow, but enough of them can tear, you know, break through the makeshift, what are you, the doors that they put over the windows and boards and stuff. And I just like the chemistry of them fighting, like as far as them debating what to do. Do I go get gas, go get, get the keys, go get gas, and get, get the truck, get out of here? Or do we stay and hide in the basement as the, as the uh, who's the Italian guy? Uh, what was his name? I'm oh, like, Harry. Uh, yeah, he, and he's like, no, we're hiding in the basement. And Tony Todd's like, no, I don't be stuck in the basement till the last resort. And, uh, and then, of course, the ending, which is really sad. But I don't know why. It hit home for me. I think it's because I watched it more as a, as a teen than any other movie. So, like, your favorite. I grew up watching that zombie movie more. So, and we debate all the time which one's better. But they're both equally good, just at different times. You know, I think so. I mean, yeah, of course, you make them new. But if they redid it now, it'd probably be CGI. <laughs> I wonder if they redid it now without George Romero. If well, someone else took it over, it would probably be CGI. Eh, yeah, maybe. I hope not. I hope they just leave it alone. They just keep it where it is. So, um, Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, if you were stuck in that situation, what, how would you handle it? Would you have been behind the basement or go to the, get gas, get in the truck, get the hell out of there? Out walk the zombies. You had three different. Okay, you had one. Let's out walk them. Let's hide and stay and hide. Let's you know. Get the truck and go. What would you do? Well, I would tell you my last option would be the basement. Yeah. Um, 
That's a dumb option. Yeah. <laughs> um, it depends. Are we talking fast running zombies or the slow ones like in the movie? Cause... Well, the ones in the movie were slow, so we're talking about those. Okay, so I, I would probably try to, uh, like Barbara did at the end, just walk past them, because especially if they didn't have the right keys to the gas pump, you're just, like you get blowed up like they did in that movie. So. Um, There's I, been I, more time digging around with the damn keys yeah, I think, than anything. And yeah. arguing, arguing about the keys, getting the keys out the door was an argument. Um, they both shot each other over that. <laughs> and, then, and then getting out to the truck to find out that they don't have the right shit. It, just, it was a nightmare. And, I then, just, and then I'll just shoot the lock off the gas pump and spray the gas all over the torch and blow you, you up. So, yeah, I, I, I think I would just walk past them like she did. Yeah, because eventually they like, like a surround the house, you're not gonna be able to get out. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I think my I would have went with that theory. I mean, you're gonna hide in the house for a while. Well, yeah. Why they didn't use there was more things they could use to block the windows, but they spent so much damn time arguing because Mister A hole wanted to argue about every little thing. Or you could or go in the attic like Harry did at the end. Yeah, um, that's actually why I like the movie, uh, um, because you got the sad ending where. After all the hell breaks loose and stuff, and and this is spoiler alert if you haven't seen this. If so. you haven't seen this movie, then I don't know. You should be watching a war channel, I guess. Okay. At this point, there's no spoiler alert. Everybody knows what happens. Okay, Tony Todd ends up in the basement. The whole time. Now, the first time did you watch it? Did you forget about the girl in the basement the first time you watched it? The first time I watched. Yeah, it? like the first time. Did you forget about the girl in the basement? I want to say I did. I can't remember that far back. I'm old. Yeah, maybe. I want to say probably I forgot. I'm assuming I probably forgot about it, about the girl. Because Tony, you know, he hides in the basement. And then, of course, the girl's a zombie now. And, you know, we assume he's dead. And then when Barbara escapes, comes back, and Mr. Tony Todd comes out of the basement. She has to blow him away. But then Mr. I'm an a-hole comes down from the, what, the, the attic, little yeah. pull-down step thing in the attic. Oh, you came back. Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, bang! You're dead! <laughs> yeah, I think I would have done the same thing. Like, oopsie! Oh, there's another zombie there. Yep. Just threw him on the burn pile. Yep, another one for the fire. It was such a basic movie. Like, both from basic movies. But, just so well done at the same time. The original one's harder for me to watch because it's darker. Um, but that's just the times. Okay, it's like uh, Text Chainsaw Massacres. This older movies are a little harder to watch sometimes, but uh, still a classic. So, what didn't you like? Um. Okay, it is slow zombie movie, but it's not that traditional. I mean, when you compare it to the zombie movies now, it's very slow and probably considered boring. Like, if you took this movie and put it next to some of the new movies, I'm sure that the, like like my daughter would be like. It's boring, but there's nothing I didn't did not like about it, except that I would have just not knocked out Mr. A hole. I'd have just knocked him out. Like I'd wait till it wasn't looking, good, put a butt up the shotgun in the, in the side of the temple, knocked him out. I would have, I would tie him up because he's not helping. And I'll leave this way: you, if the majority wants to do something and you can't get along, you just got to get out of the way. That's what I'd have done. Well, I think it was mostly their egos were... Oh, yeah, Toy Time had ego, too. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean... So, I think my dislikes would probably be uh, the young guy, Tom's girlfriend, Judy Rose. I wish she would just, just died right away, because her and her <laughs> annoying ass scream... Especially, you, especially, you screams. especially when she's like screaming, you shot Mr. Magruder, you know, like, oh, go God. I'm like, I forgot, I forgot how much you hate screams. Any movie with a woman with excessive screaming, he well, hates. Well, she was like, even when she was talking, Tommy, Tommy, and it's like, just shut up, we got other things to worry about, you know, and yeah, like, it was getting annoying after a while, and then... You know the arguing, and then she's like, "Well, if it wasn't, you know, this is Tommy's house. No, it's not." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, it was his uncle Reach's house, but you know, 
I didn't. I have no issue with it. You, what, well, okay. She, annoying I, screamers I, and stuff. I think it didn't. I think watching it at home, it really didn't bother me as much. But actually watching it on the big screen, you know, with the surround sound and all that, when she started screaming and it was so high pitched at the movie theater, it was. I'm like, literally, can we get to the scene where they get blowed up so I don't have to listen to this anymore? I think that's what it is. That part, seeing it on the big screen and you know, on it's being louder and that, it was just kind of annoying. So if we ever want to torture Kyle. We put a surround sound system in a room, duct tape him to a chair, and we have the screams from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the thief, the scream from this movie, any scream from any movie that's high pitched, excessive, that'll torture him because he absolutely hates it. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't bother me a whole lot. I mean, you're gonna scream. The zombie's trying to eat you and kill you. I, yeah, I know, but it's just the. I think it was just the tone of her. It was getting annoying. You know, like I said, it could have yeah. been just because it was at the movie theater and it and, was and you have, if you, I mean, if you're going to nitpick something, that'd be something yeah. to, to kind of, I don't know, I just... Uh, but, you know, other than that, seeing it on the big screen, actually, I, yeah, I mean, it was a fun experience, you know, something I got to see, you know, this on the big screen. So, yeah, I mean... Kind of been cool to see. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie, you know, it was it made it, off, you know, it was awesome watching it on the big screen, but it's just her screaming... This was kind of annoying. And seeing it and then meeting the characters <clears throat> that same weekend. Mm -hmm. How was that? Like like re re watching it at a theater and then seeing those characters. Yeah, because before the movie started, they had uh, like a Q and A like for 15, 20 minutes, and you know people were asking them questions, and it was it was cool that you know they told us about their experience, you know, making the movie and stuff. So I mean, yeah, and you know, watching them on the big screen and then actually meeting them in person, you know, I'm, I got to meet, you know, Barbara herself, Patricia Tallman, and then Heather Mazar that played the little girl in this movie, which my brother has the hots for her. Which, Dude, she got hot. Yeah, she got hot. So She got hot. Yeah. She's like in her... Not in the picture that she got out of that Well, yeah, because... Because she's not me that one, but she got hot. Yeah, she's <coughs> in her mid-40s, and yeah, it was... My brother was cheesing out when he got to meet her. That was the only autograph he got was her, of course. That's it? Yeah, that was the only one he got. I didn't even go and I got two autographs. Well, Thanks my, to you, though. <laughs> well, my brother, he's not in... The, he's not psycho like we are yeah, about he autographs. Does, yeah, he's not... He, he'll get one or two every now and then, but... Yeah, so... That's cool. So now, what do you... What would you give this movie? You know what I'm going to give this movie. Well, I know. I'm going to give it a five out of five blood drops. Because I like this movie that much. Okay. So now, what do you think I'm going to give it? Four. No, I'm going to give it five out of five, too. I, you know, I like the original Night of the Living Dead. They're I, both good. I, I like this one better, just because of the Barbara aspect, and you know, and the effects are a lot better. It and does the, help the quality and, lighting yeah, and sound. And the zombies are a little more, you know, a lot creepier. You know, so yeah, I give this five out of five. Yeah, so five out of five blood drops for both of us. And the thing about it, just because it's a better movie doesn't mean it has to be your favorite. You can have a favorite movie that's, I don't know, lesser quality. Not quality, but just a different time or, or whatever. It could be a favorite, but someone could be still better than that. So, I don't know, I think it's what you grow up with. But, yeah, so anyway, it's not really much of a review because everybody's seen the movie already. But since you went to Living Dead Weekend, um, met everybody again. And, uh, did you meet Tony Todd again? No, but he had the longest lines out of anybody, everybody there, so. I think I met him since But I, I did get up close to him enough to see him, so. And I went to his panel. Nice, so. Anyway, until next time. Stay bloody.